Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 unscripted moments on that 70s show. I had never done it full out during rehearsal because I just didn't know what I was going to do. So tape night, I did it full out. For this list, we're looking at the reportedly improvised lines, gaffes, and moments when the cast breaks character on the sitcom That 70s Show. If there's an unplanned 70s scene we failed to include, tell us why we should be wearing the stupid helmet in the comments. Number 10. The Tears Goodbyes are always emotional, and the finale of That 70s Show is no exception. I mean, I kind of wanted to ring in the New Year by throwing out all your corduroy boy pants. <laughs> Well, classes start on Monday and Eric gets back at 5, so I just want to, like, get out of here before all the drama. As the characters reminisce about their long, strange trip and what lies ahead for all of them, the waterworks are much in evidence for everyone. But while the sadness of these scenes is scripted, the tears and emotions of the actors are authentic for most of them. I am just... I'm just so happy we're staying because... I would miss you so. Laura Prepon, who plays Donna, reportedly had difficulty even performing as she was so overcome. And Donna, sweetheart, no matter where you go, I will always love you like a daughter. We can hardly blame her or any of them. It was hard enough saying goodbye to the characters through the screen. We can only imagine how tough it was in person. Oh, man. <laughs> Number 9. The Laughter From sadness and endings, now let's return to the beginning and joy. During the very first episode, the guys begin their tradition of sitting around in a circle having conversations where they're clearly under the influence. Like there's this guy who invented this car that runs on water, man. It's got a fiberglass air-cooled engine and it runs on water. When Hyde begins discussing the infamous car that runs on water, man, actor Danny Masterson couldn't keep a straight face and laughed. No, it's a car. <laughs> Only you put water in the gas tank instead of gas. <laughs> and it runs on water, man! <laughs> The camera then turns to Kelso slash Ashton Kutcher, who has absolutely lost it. Both of them manage to carry on with the scene, and their laughter only lent more authenticity to the vibe of teenagers getting high in a basement. Eric! Yeah, Dad? I need to talk to you. Number 8. Make it after all. When Jackie is tired of the single life, she drags Donna to a bar to help her find a new guy. Unfortunately, her attempts to find an older man only bring her to someone who used to be involved with her mother. She dumped me and married some rich lawyer, Burke, or Burkhart. That was it. <laughs> oh my God, that's my name? And my dad's a rich lawyer. <laughs> oh my God. On the car ride home, Donna tries to cheer Jackie up, comparing her sad look to Mary Tyler Moore. Jackie, when you're sad, Look exactly like Mary Tyler Moore. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Don't I do? It works, and Jackie quotes the theme song to the actress's titular show, throwing her hat just like Moore does. Except the hat hits Donna in the face, and both Mila Kunis and Laura Prepon seemingly struggle to stay in character. I am gonna make it after all. <laughs> Well, at least it made the scene after all. Number 7. Cat Killer One of the worst mistakes Eric ever makes is accidentally running over Donna's cat, Mr. Bonkers. Oh, God, no, it's... It's Mr. Bonkers. <laughs> wow, that is one dead cat. <laughs> While discussing how he should break the news to her with his parents, Eric receives some less than helpful advice from Red. You go over there and you say, hey, I'm a cat killer. I'm mur <laughs> I murdered your cat. His father advises a blunt statement that he is a killer of felines, only to break down. Actor Kurtwood Smith was clearly tickled by the line and couldn't contain his laughter. But you try to say it with a straight face. <laughs> Am I the only one that sees the humor in this? <laughs> Still, he manages to collect himself enough to stay mostly in character. 
Plus, his gleeful laughter only makes Eric and Kitty's horrified looks even funnier. Number 6. Fez Wrestles Donna While the Foremans have a garage sale, Eric laments to Donna that he can't join her at the movies, since Red would likely kick his ass. I can't believe you'd rather stay here than go see a movie with me. Oh, believe me, Donna, I'd love to go, but Red said I can't, and... Well, he can kick my ass, so... <laughs> Eric, I can kick your ass. <laughs> When Donna remarks that she can too, the two of them engage in playful wrestling. However, a nearby Fez jumps in to wrestle Donna as well. <laughs> this was something allegedly decided on by the writers on set, who decided not to tell anyone but Fez's actor Wilmer Valderrama. Laura Prepon is clearly having a case of the giggles during the event and her and Topher Grace's clueless reactions elevate an already entertaining moment. Man, what are you doing? I'm lonely. <laughs> Number 5. Hosed Down After Donna goes on birth control, Eric gets the sex talk from his parents, and he finally gets around to talking about doing the act with Donna. Foreplay is very important. <laughs> Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Despite going on the pill, she wants to wait for the right time. Eric is naturally rather eager, half-jokingly asking repeatedly if now is the right time. How about now? No. Okay. <laughs> now? Yes. Really? No. Okay. <laughs> now, right? <laughs> After Donna leaves, Red walks up and sprays Eric down with a water hose. Even if this was in the script, actor Topher Grace was still clearly unprepared, and his panic and disbelief at getting soaked are certainly authentic. It's for Eric's own good, and for the good of some great comedy. It's for your own good, son. <laughs> Number 4. Table Trip Kelso's not exactly the brightest or most coordinated of characters to begin with. You too. You are just the best Christmas present a mother could have. <laughs> but one of his earliest pratfalls wasn't in the script. During the show's first Christmas episode, Kelso leaps over the couch in his eagerness to talk to Eric's sister Lori. Except Ashton Kutcher missed the target and slammed his shins hard on the coffee table. When I came running up and I jumped over the couch and my heels hit the edge of the couch and I slipped off and took it right in the shins with the table. While he valiantly manages to stay in character, Lori's actress Lisa Robin Kelly has a genuine reaction to the mishap. Lori may not be impressed with Kelso's lack of conversation skills, but we're definitely taken with Kutcher's ability to keep it together. Stay in the character, stay in the character, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt, and everybody else starts laughing. I remember watching the episode and going, that's awesome. <laughs> Number 3. Hello, Wisconsin! The show's theme song is as integral to the overall 70s vibe of the show as anything else. Hanging out down the street, the same old thing. Although it's quite possible that many little bits of business the characters do while cruising in the Vista Cruiser were improvised, we can only confirm one, and it's the only dialogue from the sequence. After the theme song concludes, Hyde yells out, Hello, Wisconsin! According to one of the series' co-creators, Mark Brazil, this exclamation was improvised by Hyde's actor Danny Masterson. It's a small thing, but when it's featured in nearly every single episode, it certainly adds up. Hello, Wisconsin! Number 2. Kitty's Dance During Donna's bachelorette party, she, Jackie, and Kitty go to a strip club. While Donna takes the opportunity to reconnect with Kelso's brother Casey, Jackie and Kitty are entertained by the strippers. You know, it's showbiz. So, so you're happy here. Yeah. And you will be too. Kitty gets really into it and does an absolutely hysterical dance while watching a guy do one-handed push-ups. According to Deborah Jo Rupp herself, no one, not even her, knew what she'd do until the day of filming. So the other actors were dying of laughter. 
I had never done it full out during rehearsal because I just didn't know what I was going to do. So tape night, I did it full out. <laughs> the blooper reel for the episode can attest to this. And given how funny Kitty is here, we are not at all surprised. Mila couldn't speak. Laura's behind me. They are collapsed in laughter. And no one's yelling cut. So I just keep dancing and dancing. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, cracking up. Eric is distraught after finding out the girl he has a thing for likes his dad instead of him. She likes red. <laughs> oh my God! You're gonna have to leave town! He makes the classic mistake of telling his friends about it. They take the opportunity to repeatedly roast him over the situation, with Hyde delivering one of the most savage burns in the whole show. How soft is he, Hyde? <laughs> softer than Liberace at the Playboy Mansion. <laughs> and while there's no one unscripted moment here, it's clear that the actors do not have to fake their laughter at all, as they're all having entirely too much fun losing it throughout at the admittedly hilarious jokes they're telling. Wait. This kind of authentic laughter that makes that 70s show feel special even today. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.